everybody it's Michelle and you may remember my recent video where I did punch art penguins using my egg dies I have been getting so much use out of those egg dies it's just phenomenal I can't believe how far they are going so here are my penguins when I did them in the video I just did these two here and they didn't have the rosy cheeks or the bow tie I sort of did that playing around after the fact, trying to dress them up for Christmas. I made a smaller one with the neck size down of egg shapes, put a little red bow in her hair and added a baby to the family. And I thought they were just cute with their red and green all dressed up for Christmas. And a viewer commented that they needed Santa hats. And I had gotten a comment before about Santa hats also. So I thought I would do those Santa hats and see if they'll fit our penguins. Dad's got a green bow tie and Baby's got a red bow in her hair. So we'll see if we can get Mama a Santa hat. So I was playing around with how to come up with a Santa hat. And you guessed it. I'm doing it with the egg shape. I took the next to the smallest egg and I cut it out of my red textured polka dot cardstock. And I have another one here. I've got the washi tape still on there to show you guys what I did. I took that egg shape die cut with the next to the smallest egg and I put it back through with the smallest egg sort of at an angle. I have the die cut this way with the wide end of the egg over here to the right and that's the end that I came in from to taper my smallest egg there and lay that on like that. Run it through again and do some double die cutting and when I pull that off there's what I'm left with. And I think we're going to come out with the perfect Santa hat. And I'm doing this with the eggs. I've gotten a lot of use out of these eggs. But you guys could do this also with an oval punch or die. I'm sure it would work just as well. And then I'm just going to punch out a few scalloped circles. This is a 3 8 inch scalloped circle. And I'm going to use my white glitter cardstock. Okay, so I've got six of those punched out, and we can just start putting them onto our Santa hat. I'm going to start with the one on the tip. Just put a little dot of art glitter glue and pop that right on. I'm going to bring that down to the tip as much as I can. Because the lower I bring that down, the longer it's going to look like our little tip is. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in my little mama penguin. So that I can see kind of what angle I want this to lay at. And get that lined up with my grid. And I think I want it to lay about like that right there. So I'm going to trim this just a little bit. And then continue putting on my little scallop circles. I'm going to start with one right in the center and then I'm going to take the next ones and kind of lap under that one and under that one I'm going to have to work kind of quickly to do that because that art glitter glue sits pretty quick so I lifted that edge back up so I can get that under there. And the next one under. And I'm going to 
bring in maybe one more of those little scallop circles. Take that out a little farther. And there is our Santa hat. I think it is just adorable. And it's going to fit our little mama penguin just right. So it's just that simple. Again, with the egg-shaped dies, but like I said, you could give it a try with ovals. I think that would work really good, too. But we've got our mama penguin all dressed up for Christmas, along with her other two family members here, and I think they are just adorable. So you guys be sure to let me know what you think about my Santa hat. Let me know if you give it a try. I would love to see yours. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. And be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. There in the group is where a lot of people like to share their crafts. And there are some wonderful ones over there. We'd love to have you join too. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll put the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.